Good morning, good brothers and good sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we all have a lifelong project, lifelong task of growing in truth and goodness, and grow to the full stature of perfection into Christ Jesus. And uh, to the extent that we keep growing, that we will all be freed from all evil. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger, so that we may rejoice in your peace. This we ask of you through, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Each one of us has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. It was said that he would, when he ascended to the height, he captured prisoners, he gave gifts to men. When it says he ascended, what can it mean if not that he descended right down to the lower region of the earth? The one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things is none other than the one who descended. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles, to some prophets, to some evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of the service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. Then we shall not be children any longer, or toasted one way and another, and carried along by every wind of doctrine. At the mercy of all the tricks, men play and their cleverness in practicing deceit. If we live by the truth and in love, we shall grow in all ways into Christ, who, who is the head by whom the whole body is fitted and joined together, every joint adding its own strength for each separate part to work according to its function. So the body grows until it builds itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates. 
of Jerusalem. I rejoice when I hear them say, Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. I rejoice when I hear them say, For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the throne of judgment of the house of David. I rejoice when I hear them say, Let us go to God's house. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his word and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 13, verses 1 to 9. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, Do you suppose these Galileans who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galileans? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or these eighteen on whom the tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, Look here. For three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground? Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig around it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear beloved in Christ Jesus, we often think that only bad people suffer, only sinful people suffer. Good people don't suffer, or good people should not suffer. Virtuous people should not suffer. That's what we think. Although we know that sin leads to suffering, but not all sufferings are really caused by sin of that person, of a particular people. Sometimes it's possible that we suffer because of the sin that is, uh, that is spread all around the world, all around us, or uh, by because of the sin of some person, or because of some person is evil, that we suffer. Today we all suffer from this evil of coronavirus. And, uh, most of us are innocent and we are not, we have no reason why we should suffer by this. And they say this coronavirus is a man-made one, especially by the game, a evil game of trade and money, an international evil game of trade and money. And that's a kind of sinfulness and because of the sinfulness of a particular system that we all suffer. And uh, there may be uh, sin behind. Uh, there may be sin behind many of our suffering, but that doesn't mean all those who suffer are sin, are bad people, or sinful people. Even virtuous people suffer. We know the saints have suffered. We know Jesus, our beloved Lord, who is sinless, the Lamb of God. He Himself has suffered. However, and uh, we could uh, also invite suffering if we we really do not grow or repent. Uh, when you say repent, it means conversion. We always think conversion means conversion from sinful ways. But uh, the while well, there is a conversion from sinful ways, but there's also another side, conversion to good ways. 
gun version to fruitfulness. And today's first reading in the letter to the Ephesians, the Saint Paul is telling us that we should all uh, uh, grow in truth and in love, that, and we should grow into Jesus Christ. In other words, you know, uh, the more and more that we that we repent towards Jesus or turn towards Jesus, we should find that we live a life of truthfulness and love and forgiveness and so on and so forth. To that extent, that we will be also be, uh, we will, will be uh, uh, less and less sinful. And uh, though we are virtuous, good, and growing in sin, in uh, in Christ Jesus, we also should be sure that there's always a portion of suffering that's meant for us. Let's not all the time connect uh, you no know, suffering to uh, sinfulness alone. Even good people suffer, virtuous people suffer. <coughs> May God give us peace. <coughs> Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord have sacrifice may hands for the praise, for the praise and glory of glory God's of name, for our good and good of all holy. We offer you, Lord, these offerings of consolation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as the holy sacrifice pleasing to you, Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to please you, praise and bless and glorify your name on the day of commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and process the resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with blessed apostles, Saint Paul, our patron, and all the saints who are pleased, pleased to please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be quiet in our life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's call God our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her, and to our homes and to our hearts, the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you, peace to you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take every sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take every sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes the wisdom of the world. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, you, but only say the word, and I shall but be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I, I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Graciousness is poured out upon your lips, for God has blessed you forevermore. Let us pray. Having nourished us with the heavenly food, O Lord, grant that according to the example of Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise. Grant this through Christ our Lord. prayer to combat against the attack of coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for your quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that their efforts to curb this pandemic may bear good results. We pray for all the people, especially our parish people, that they may remain strong and committed in their faith and belief. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.